Well, the ball's entirely their court. I met the bill minister, Shona Robertson, and I've explained the position to her. I've explained it in a letter to the first minister. I've laid out my statement of reasons. The ball is in their court. I've been very clear. I've said to the... Uh, to the Scottish Government that it's for them now to address their bill. They can either drop it or they can amend it or they can, as they've said, they want to take us to court. Uh, that's entirely their decision. But what I do know is that the bill has uh, adverse impacts on UK and GB-wide legislation and it's for that reason that I looked at the legal advice and used my Section 35 power. You say amending this is an option that the Scottish mm. Government can have, but what amendments can really be made, given how broad your statement of reasons was? Well, are there any changes that can be well, made that would satisfy the, the tests you've set down? Well, that's a matter for them, but at the moment, the, neither the First Minister nor the Bill Minister acknowledge that there are any adverse impacts on GB-wide legislation. So they, they are, if they don't think there are adverse impacts, then I suppose their option is to have that argument with me in court. Um, if they do amend the bill, then we, you know, we were very happy to look at what amendments they make and give advice. Our legal officers can then give advice once we see what they want to take forward back to the Parliament to see whether or not that addresses the issues. So have you made any suggestions to them about what no, no, those amendments No, that's not my job. Be? No, no, that, constitutionally, it's entirely their job to use their legal officers to write bills that are competent. Uh, there was some correspondence from yourself released today uh, between Shona Robertson and uh, if I understood correctly you, you did not follow the memorandum of understanding with regards um, to section 35. Well we did completely. So what they, they may have released their readout of the minutes of the meeting. We, have released, we haven't released ours but I have uh, asked my office to write back and explain to them the bits we disagree on and I absolutely I heard what she said what, what, her, what, what her point she was making but I simply did not agree with it